All right, I'm going to continue talking about quantum mechanics. It's going to get a bit weird, but that is quantum mechanics does get a bit weird. Um, but it's, it's uh, accepted theory of uh, small things when you get down to atomic size. So light, what is light? Okay, so this representation of light as a wave with a wavelength and a... Uh, an amplitude. Okay, this is how we have originally, this is how we used to think about light prior to quantum mechanics. Light was thought of as a wave, a bit like a water wave, right, with a pond, the boat, the stones in the pond, uh, like a sound wave or like a people wave. So light was thought of as being something that had an, a wavelength and an amplitude. And if you increase the amplitude, it got brighter. But it turns out this is wrong. Because the energy does not depend on the amplitude. In fact, there isn't, there's no such thing as amplitude. If you look at things at a really small level, you break down light, you find out that it's made of lots of bits. So we don't actually have amplitude. What replaces amplitude? Anybody? I mean, we talked a little bit about it. It's you said? That's it. No, not frequency. We still have frequency, and frequency is important. Frequency does determine the energy. But what do you think we have instead of, am instead of amplitude? The, I don't know if it was, instead of amplitude, we actually have the number of photons. So now the model, the previous model, this model of a wave would have energy proportional to amplitude squared, energy proportional to frequency squared. This is your classical wave model. And this works very well for sound waves, for things that oscillate. It works for people waves, it works for water waves, it works for most waves that are macroscopic, that we can see on, we can measure on our scale, if you like, that are big. When you get down to the size of an atom, it doesn't work anymore. It was discovered that this model, light doesn't behave like this. This is basic, this is quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a discovery that light, electrons, protons, anything little, it doesn't behave in this way. And yet it does have wave properties. So instead of having the energy being proportional to the amplitude squared, the amplitude is, is essentially, okay, this is not exact, but it's essentially replaced by the number of photons so in other words the energy is equal to n h f so this would be this is it's representative of amplitude it's not the same thing and you still have the frequency dependence, but it's just linear. So this is the model of light. So instead of having this long, wavy thing that spreads out, we have this. The new model looks like this. So instead of this model, we have this model, OK? This is what light really looks like. It's a series of photons. So these are photons. Each one of these 
is an HF, where H is Planck's constant. So the energy of this, what's the energy of this light? HF times, well, I've got five of them, right? <laughs> five HF, OK? Now, according to quantum mechanics, you can't have this. This is not allowed. You can't have half an HF. It's quantized. You have one, you have two, you have three, you have four, you have five, you have six, you have seven. That's what quantum mechanics means. This is why you have quantized electron orbitals in atoms. This is why you have atoms. This is why sodium is different from copper. Because basically, the energy is quantized because the photon energy is quantized. The photon energy and the, elect the energy of an electron in an atom are closely linked. The reason we have atoms, substance, is because everything's quantized. This is why you have a periodic table, the whole of chemistry. But you can't have this, not allowed. Why is it not allowed? <laughs> Don't know. It's just not allowed. Everything's quantized at the, at, when you get down to the smallest level. It's all bits. We're in the matrix.